In today's episode, we are going to add some images to the publication. Specifically, we are going to look at wrapping text around images, placing images in shapes and how to place multiple images simultaneously on a page. Let's get started and don't forget to subscribe. Hi there, I'm Mike from Presto Mike and I'm back with another Affinity Publisher beta episode. We are going through the basics in this series and today we are working with images. For this exercise, we will be using the picture frame tool and the place image tool, both of which I've already mentioned in a previous episode. Let's start with the basics. Open a blank page on your document. Select your place image tool. And in the dialog box that opens, choose your file. You will notice that your cursor now changes its look. Now this may not be visible in the video, but you will see the difference when you work on it. The cursor indicates that it is ready to place the image with a click or a drag. If you click anywhere on the page, the image will be placed at its original size. You can then use the corner handles to resize the image to your liking. While we are working with handles, it may be good for you to know that control plus the corner handles will resize the image proportionately from all sides. Holding down shift while dragging will resize the image disproportionately. You can change the aspect ratio. We'll come back to the place tool in a bit. But now let's take a look at the image frame tool. Now this tool lets you drag picture frames of various sizes on your page. Let's drag a couple of them. Select one of the frames where you want an image to appear and select the place image tool. So we're back. Open the image and you'll see that your image now fits snugly within the frame. You can now resize or drag the image into position as per your design. You can use a zoom tool to resize the image. Now that you've got a hold of the basics, let's look at adding some images to shapes. I'm going to add a couple of shapes to a new page random ones and let's add some images. Activate a shape. Now select your place image tool. Choose your image and click open. Whoa! What just happened? The image is not in the shape. Well, that's because this is not a frame. You cannot add an image to a shape with this tool. So, how do we get this image into the shape? Let's head over to the Layers panel. You can see the image on a separate layer. All you have to do now is drag the image layer into the shape layer. Note, I said into and not under. There is a difference and you can see it in the demo. Notice the whitish bar that appears between the layers as I move the layer. One is shorter, indicating it will be added into the layer and the other is longer, indicating that it will be moved under the layer. Let's do this with a few more shapes just for practice. Okay, the next thing we're going to learn in this episode is to wrap text around our images. I'm going to add some filler text on a new page. Drag out some image frames in different areas including the center of the two column page and with a frame selected, go to the text wrap settings. Now this is available to you right there on the screen, right at the top. There are many options you can choose. Feel free to try all of them out. You will need to use different wrap settings for different areas on your page, depending on your design. I like to use the tight wrap uh, option and make the text go all around the image. Square works almost the same. You can activate the text wrap settings either before or after adding the image to the frame. Lastly, let's take a look at adding multiple images simultaneously. Go to the place image tool, 
select multiple images this time. Click open. Now you can drag out individual pictures to aspect ratios of your choice one by one. It's that easy. If you're used to InDesign where multiple images are imported automatically as a grid, you may be disappointed that it doesn't happen with Publisher. But I'd say the flexibility Publisher gives you is greater. So you decide. Well, that's it for this episode of Publisher Beta. In the next one, we will look at setting up pages and master pages. So stay tuned. Subscribe to be notified. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.